Hey there folks, Foggy here. Welcome to day 254 of my year of solo board gaming, considered by many to be ill-advised and stupid. Uh, we are back to shotgunning short games, uh, and what better game would there be than Lost Expedition, a game that you usually lose on the second turn. Uh, so we're just, I'm not even going to do too much of an explanation here. Uh, I think if you want a better explanation of how this game works, you can go back and watch some of my other videos. Uh, we are opening with, uh, let's see, trying to make sure you can actually see things here. We've got some good cards to start with. Uh, the Kalapalos is a pretty good one. Crocodile's a good way to get some food. Um, and I think the Hay Hayato Hihi, we might be able to get, oh, that's, that's gonna be tough because I don't wanna trade a bullet for that. So these are gonna be done in numerical order. So whichever of three that we pick, um, that's gonna be the ones that we go with. And if I remember correctly, it's in morning, I'm gonna pull out. I'm gonna pull out two cards before we get too much further, uh, and then that's gonna be leeches and healing herbs. I kind of want to skip, um, but it's gonna be tough to skip that one. I think I'm gonna put three and river crossing because that's gonna give me some food, and I think the food is probably gonna be pretty important. Nightshade, that's unfortunate. Because uh, that means that we're going to skip over here. But it is going to pull off something at the end of the line. I could go... Well, 44 is not going to be good now. 52, if I put this here, is just bad. That's just bad. 23... 23, I'm going to skip with Hailing Herbs. So if I've got some sort of crappy card I can't make any use out of, this is a good time to put it in because I can just ignore that. All right. Uh, unfortunately, healing herbs, we're not really going to be able to make use of. Nobody's going to be that sick right now. So it's just unfortunate that it's it's just there. Um, so we're going to start with Kalapo, uh, Kalapalos. And that's going to get us some food. I'm going to go with the food option on this. We have one extra food. Uh, healing herbs, we're going to skip the blue ones we don't have to do. And I'm not going to in this case, so we skip over swarm. Uh, we get to river crossing. If I want to, I can give up a compass. Uh, and I think I'm going to do that. Uh, I don't think it's really going to matter. It's either compass or I lose some health. But it does mean that we get to move our person along. And we're going to skip nightshade. And the last thing we're going to do is end up with some leeches, which there's nothing we can really do about. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use a health and a food to deal with that. And that is the end of the morning phase. We now use up a food, and we're in the evening phase. So in the evening phase, you get to decide what order you want to put these in, but you're always building. You know, I think, I think something I've made a mistake of in the past is... Oh no, solo mode you can do either front or back. That's so that's that's been correct. So I think what I'm gonna do is I think lead off with crocodile. Do I start by putting two out or Okay, basically you just keep going back and forth. You start with one from your hand. And then you can go whatever order you are going in. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this one. For one food, I could gain some things that would help out. I don't see this being that useful. go cougar here basically what I'm thinking is that I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice the bullet to get the food um, and then use one food to get this monkey's compass or uh, leaf and then use the leaf to get rid of this cougar I don't want to sacrifice too many bullets problem is I still got this mudslide and the hiato to deal with neither of which are going to be good. 
So Thunderstorm is flip over the last two. And so that's going to make these irrelevant. Okay, there we go. So let's start with the first one. We're giving up a bullet. We're gonna get two food. We're gonna use one of those food immediately to get compass and leaf. We're gonna use that leaf immediately to use on the cougar. We'll get to this last one so we can skip over these last two. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use one of Teddy's uh, skills there. So let's go ahead and borrow from Inez on the health instead. Because then that way everyone's a two. And thus endeth the first day and I use some more food. So not horrible, but we only got one space along the trail. So we need to start looking at some opportunities here. All right. Looking at what we got, we got Anaconda, uh, Swamp, Electric Eels, Bushmaster, and Kapok. And Vantage Point, and just generally just not good stuff. Nothing here is going to help as far as moving down the path. We're going to get Scorpion here, and we're going to get Ruins. Ruins has an option to give up some health here and a compass to move along the path. Uh, we can also, we'll also use a food to get rid of two things at the end. So I think what I want to do is I want to go ahead and put, let's go ahead and put Kepok and Swamp out because these are just kind of bad and this card will allow us to wipe those out. Hookworms, that'll go here and that's going to mean something that we have to sacrifice. That's not good. Uh, and so now looking at the rest of this, I know I'm going to be giving up a tent. Uh, just generally speaking, this is just not good. Vantage point would sacrifice one health for leaf. That's not going to do me any good. Plus it's going to go over here, so that's really not going to do any good. Electric Eels is just kind of ignorable. Like we add a card at the end of the, the, the line, but since it's blue text, we don't have to worry about that. And again, I just don't have anything here that looks helpful. When we're adding and swapping, I need two cards later in the path. So Scorpion, no matter what, I'm gonna be able to swap two cards in the path. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with Electric Eels and then figure out which two cards would be best to put right here. So this will leave this for the evening. We're going to start our path down. We get to the scorpion. Scorpion's bad. It goes and stings uh, Teddy. He's hurting. And we have to put another card at the end of the path now. And now we got lost. Uh, which means we can trade in two compasses for advancing down the path. But we've got so few bits here and there to help out with that. It's not looking good. Right now, we're going to discard the last two cards of the path, which right now would be these two. Unless I want to swap two, like I can still swap two cards. Like I still have that swap available, I think. So if I swap this and this, this. Uh, that's going to mean I skip this and I don't necessarily want to skip that. Yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to swap these two. Okay. So now we hit this one. We hit the Kapok. We're going to trade in some food. Uh, we're going to get a tent to use for later on. And that'll become important. Uh, we're going to have to lose another food, unfortunately. Uh, and we lose the last two parts of the path here. And now our plan's going to crap because I can either lose a compass and health to advance down the path or one food, and I don't have any food. Um, so I think no matter what, I'm going to lose somebody on this turn. Uh, I do have tent available should I want to use it but I think I'm gonna save 10 for this. We're just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. We're gonna sacrifice that opportunity there. 
All right, this is good. Old pathway is helpful. Uh, we get down to here. That's the plus there. Now I'm going to go ahead and lose Inez uh, to get some food because we actually really need the food. Wizard needs food badly. Uh, then on hookworms, we're going to go ahead and sacrifice the Kapok. And then when we get down here, we're going to put one more card out. And this will allow us to go one more space ahead. Finally, if we want to, we could sacrifice uh, two food to go even further. And I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to sacrifice two food. We go one more step. It's not good because we do have to now lose somebody's health. So it's going to have to be Isabel because everyone else is pretty close to death. We're now going into the evening phase. All right. So we'll start off. I think I'm going to put this out front with the bullet. And I think I'm also going to put this in front as well. So I'm going to go ahead and use my two bullets to get food here because we really do need the food now. Uh, next one up is clearing. Uh, somebody can sacrifice themselves. Let's go ahead and put that here. We might be able to get a tent out of the first part of this. Maybe that'll help. Oh, this is looking even worse. I'm going to put this here. And then this here. And what I'm hoping is that I get something that allows me some health. That's just a plus. Okay, well, things are going to go really badly now. May as well put this out here because we're just going to start. We're going to start losing some people here. All right, so first up, we got the path ahead. That's going to put another card at the end here. Um, we're going to also go ahead and lose. I think now we're losing Isabel, sadly. I don't know why I'm turning her over like that, but we are going to move a little bit further down the path. Next up, we're going to lose uh, some health here. We're going to lose Inez, but this will allow us to skip thick fog. We're also not going to bother with the bullets. Um, she has passed away, but we still have some leaves. So Teddy is the only one left. Uh, we get two more and we're going to sacrifice these two bullets to get two food. We have a leaf here. These are both optional, uh, but unfortunately we only have one health, so that's it. Like we're not gonna be able to do anything else. And then finally we have this uh, last thing here. We're gonna have to take the bottom option, which is sacrifice a food to get a compass, but we've got some additional abilities and I'm sorry that these are going off screen like this. Um, but now we've got one, uh, one compass and one leaf plus Teddy's last remaining health. Plus we have to use up this food now and we're gonna start day three. We are four away from the end. It's actually gone on a little bit longer than I would have thought. I'm holding on just ridiculously tightly. So let's go ahead and deal out the first two cards in the path. They're gonna be 36 and two. Uh, this is not good. Uh, this is really not good. That will kill me. And I don't think that there's anything else I can do about that. Uh, Panther here has got some stuff that might be helpful. But honestly, at this point, I think I may as well just start putting start putting some cards out because I'm not going to make it through this. The biggest problem is that that Zinguano, there's no way for me to get around that. I don't have any bullets left. I don't have any health left. Uh, and that just means leaves death. Uh, injury is going to go here. Uh, and then the, it doesn't really matter. The, none of these cards are enough to really do this, so let's go ahead and put 38 here. Doesn't matter. The first card that we get to needs either a bullet to get tent, and then we skip the next card. It needs two health, nobody has two health, or Teddy dies, and Teddy has died along the path. We are four away from the Lost City of Z, and that is the end of the Lost Expedition. Thank you so much for joining me, and join me again tomorrow for another rousing adventure of the Lost Expedition.